Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And now we're joined over the phone by Dr. Ali Masoud, uh, former dean of the Faculty of Economics, Beni Swif University. Dr. Masoud, can you hear me, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Dr. Masoud, we're talking about the industrial sector and uh, the really significant progress it has made over the past few years. But I want to take it a step back uh, during the first implementation of the economic reform program. It seemed that all different sectors of the Egyptian economy needed some sort of restructuring and having some sort of a facelift for uh, and a really change of mentality and a uh, way of applying uh, the process. What sort of structural reform did the industrial sector need to have to cope with an economic reform program, a sustainable development to be achieved by Egypt by the year 2030? Um, okay, uh, first of all, Egypt now has uh, a very incentive strategy or development strategy uh, to move Egyptian economy uh, to be a, a very competitive economy as well as a, a very elastic economy or a very flexible economy in absorbing uh, all internal and external shocks. Mm -hmm. Regarding, uh, regarding uh, development that happens in in this industry and industrial sector uh, actually the egyptian government has been taking many steps in order to uh, enhance this sector for instance um, all industrial sectors uh, all all industrial zones in um, in suhaj and Qina, uh, were developed and um, really uh, provided by all infrastructure not only that we now now uh, have the uh, uh, the Suez Canal economic zone, which it is uh, has a lots of uh, facilities. Not only that, but a lots of uh, uh, for procedures that uh, and decentralized procedures uh, that is going to make it like a base for uh, industry. Uh, nationalization. I mean by industry nationalization means that moving industry from outside into Egypt to be like industry base. Uh, this is uh, something. Also, we concentrate a little bit uh, on what we call uh, value added or maximizing the value added for the resources we have. So we now actually pushing so much uh, for the processing in the industry that uh, all and other industries that connected to agriculture sector. Uh, so um, yeah, this is what has been happening. Uh, what we are need, uh, what we are, we need to do now. Uh, we need an urgent issue regarding uh, the reforming education system. This is a really serious issue uh, for the years to come. Uh, Egypt moves from being a developing country uh, to be actually emerging country now, which means that the Egyptian economy is going to be really more competitive in the future and we need to compete in its uh, product in international markets. For this reason, we really have to reform our education system to meet these requirements. Yes, Minister of Education and Ministry of higher education has uh, uh, pushed very hard and very tough on this issue, but still uh, we need uh, a long way to go in order to, feed, uh, to, to meet the requirements for uh, the Egyptian economy in the next stage. Yes. Dr. Masoud, now you've mentioned uh really developing a lot of the uh, industrial zones all over the country, not just situation, uh, uh, situated or centralized in the biggest cities such as Cairo or Alexandria. But you've also mentioned working on the infrastructure for uh, places like Soheg and Beni Suif. Are the people responding and do they realize how big of an opportunity to start their own business, start their own industries and production lines and factories and workshops. Are they seizing these opportunities? And even if they're not starting uh, their own industries and businesses, do they realize 
even if they're not going to still get into university, the technological and technical universities being established now, are they aware that, of the need for them to start training and to develop their skills? Yes. Uh, I tell you what, even when I talk a little bit about other Egypt region, why? Because it is, you know, the, uh, this region was left out for many years. Uh, uh, to go now, uh, the Egyptian government is uh, voting them uh, the uh, other Egyptian or other Egypt uh, region in the head of its priority. We can see uh, that after developing and uh, uh, developing the industrial zone there uh, in other Egypt, not only that, but uh, re uh, relaxing. Uh, the procedure and the complication of a procedure for starting a business. Uh, also, the um, General Authority for Investments have built the capacity for uh, investors' associations in other Egypt governorates, and they connected them, and they allowed also uh, people or the governorates of all governorates, not only our Egypt, uh, to have their uh, investment opportunities and it will start to market these opportunities for uh, investors in these governorates, not only, but also in Cairo, not only in Cairo, but also outside Egypt, in, I mean in Arab countries and sometimes uh, in, in European countries and foreign countries. Um, regarding the uh, technical universities, technological universities, this is a very, very good step to make and during this time of the history of Egypt. Why? Because now we are uh, dealing with the culture of uh, people in, um, in selecting their education. We now are raising that the more important issue regarding education is uh, providing, uh, providing the students by needed skills uh, for the job market. So now our education system is getting close to the job market and, and, the, and the needs of the Egyptian economy. But we still, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm still emphasizing it, we have taken many steps in reforming our education and we have to go all the way to reform mm -hmm. our education uh, undergrad, uh, I mean, it, you know, pre-university education or university education. Yes. Uh, what we have been doing now, we are witnessing actually a new era of Egypt, a new Egypt actually, or a new republic of Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, we are as a generation, me and you and the audience now, they are witnessing, we are witnessing yes. uh, the new Egypt uh, in terms of economics mm -hmm. and other uh, aspects. Of course. Dr. Ali Masoud, former Dean of the Faculty of Economics at Beni Suif University, thank you very much, sir, for thank joining you, us. Dear. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be off to a short break and we'll be right back.